demonstration on behalf of the third grade aircraft wing, Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, and all the Marine units participating this year. Welcome to the 2009 Marine Corps Air Station Miramar Air Show. And now, direct your attention to the left, taking the runway is the Marine Corps Jack of All Trades, the C-130 Hercules Tanker Transport. AC Marine tactical aircraft, including jets and helicopters, relies heavily on the Hercules to keep them fueled, so Athens can stay in the fight. The KC-130 also provides aerial delivery of personnel and equipment, rapid ground refueling, airborne communication relay, and night illumination, to name a few of its many missions. Working on its sixth decade of service in the Corps, the KC-130 continues to be the workhorse of the fleet. These aircraft you see before you are part of the Marine Air The Raiders are commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Barnes, call sign Church Boy. The Raiders were established in 1943 and have served in countless operations around the globe. Next up will be several departures of fighter and attack jet aircraft. The first departures will be a flight of three FA-18s. The closest F-18s are the single-seat Charlie version. The F-18 on the far runway is the F-18 Delta. This is the two-seat model of the Hornet, carrying a pilot and weapons sensors officer, also known as a Wizzo. <laughs> the F-18 Hornet is an all-weather, carrier-capable, multi-role fighter designed to attack both ground and aerial targets. The F-18 was arrived in the YF-17 in 1970s, produced by the Navy and Marine Corps. The Hornet is also used by the Air Forces of many other nations. It has been the aerial demonstration aircraft of the United States and Navy's Blue Angels demonstration team since 1986. Very good.